Uh, Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, uh, I'll be bringing yet another proof for the truth of Islam from the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is about abortion. Let's get started. So here's the hadith. This is in Musannaf ibn Abi Shayba, three seven two nine seven. Umair ibn Saaf reported Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said in regards to the uh, signs before the hour. A woman will be taken and her stomach ripped open then what is in her womb will be taken out and discarded for the fear of giving birth. So the hadith is actually quite clear cut as you can see. Here is the argument. Abortions were not a phenomenon throughout, throughout history. Moreover people throughout history wanted to have children to provide for family and for warfare because most free modern, modern warfare was based on numbers. Right? This is just a fact. Why would anyone make up this prophecy? This goes against the teachings of Islam which are to have more children and the course of human history, the human desires throughout history to have more children. Even if a population is taken over as slaves for instance, right? The general desire is to have more slaves. Let's suppose some particular group did not want to grow a uh, population to grow for some reason, right? This can happen in history. In this case, either the babies would be killed or the mother would be stabbed in the stomach. This is what would happen. The claim about abortion would not have been made up or even conceived at that time. This is just a reality in this regard. Moreover, if the claim as is usually made that Islam plagiarized from pre-Islamic works, right? Unwanted children in history were not aborted. They were left on garbage dumps. But this is not what is mentioned in the hadith. Abortion is mentioned in the hadith. Right? So, for these reasons, this prophecy is a clear cut proof for the truth of Islam. There is simply no way around this. This is something that would not have even been conceived 1400 years ago. And if similar circumstances are assumed, what would have been mentioned is completely opposite to what is mentioned, namely abortions. Moreover, they, there can be uh, some contentions made against this hadith that can easily be refuted. One contention that can be made is that in the context of the hadith, it seems like women are forced to be uh, abort their babies. This is not necessary. The claim is this goes against the recent phenomena in which women are choosing to abort. This contention can easily be refuted by the fact that in the 20th century, and this is a well-known historical fact in, uh, in communist countries and elsewhere as well, there were cases of forced abortions, massive number of forced, forced abortions, and it's even happening in Uyghur China right now and in other places. So even if we, this, uh, we take this contention seriously, this argument does not work. Another cont contention can be made is regarding the type of abortion. The abortion nowadays are not basically performed when uh, uh, by ripping a woman's stomach open, right? So the contention is this uh, this does not apply to our times. The response is very simple. The type of abortion in which women's stomachs are cut open are called hysterotomy. These were very common in the 20th century. So either way, whether you take this prophecy to be right now or in the 20th century, this prophecy is fulfilled. There is simply no way around that. Inshallah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and share the video uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum.